In the news this week, Northern Ireland's Justice Minister is moving forward with plans to weaken abortion law despite opposition. A Christian florist is inundated with donations after being sued over her marriage stance. And in the latest of our election focus series, we examine the vital issue of sex education. Hello and welcome to this week's news bulletin from the Christian Institute. Northern Ireland's Department of Justice is recommending weakening abortion law in the province, despite overwhelming opposition shown by its own consultation. Justice Minister David Ford launched the consultation last year on allowing abortion in cases of fatal fetal abnormality and sexual crime. A statement on his department's website claims there is a substantial body of support for the changes. But, including a petition, the vast majority of the 25,000 responses are against changing the law. Less than 1% were in favour. Ford said he will ask for approval to bring forward legislation to permit abortion for fatal fetal abnormality. After full and careful consideration of the evidence submitted, I have concluded that to change the law along the lines outlined in the consultation paper is the right thing to do. He said he will not try to legalise abortion in cases of sexual crime and plans to introduce a conscience clause into the legislation. The proposals require a vote in the Assembly before becoming law. In our election focus series, sex education is the third key issue we are looking at ahead of the general election on the 7th of May. The coalition government has backed liberal sex education guidance produced by outside groups, but two consecutive Conservative education secretaries have refused to compel all primary schools in England to teach the subject. The Liberal Democrat Party wants to guarantee compulsory sex education in all state schools, including academies and free schools, from the age of seven. In January 2014, Labour supported an amendment which sought to introduce compulsory sex education in all schools from the age of five. Their manifesto states, we will introduce compulsory age-appropriate sex and relationships education. UKIP does not support sex education in primary schools and says all parents must be made fully aware of the teaching materials being used. They also back the right of parents to withdraw their children from sex education classes. The Christian Institute's election briefing is now available. Paper copies will be sent to supporters next week and it is available to view on our website right now. It provides clear, non-party political information on a range of election issues of vital interest to Christians. To get your online copy now, visit christian.org.uk forward slash election. Thousands of dollars have been raised for a Christian florist sued for declining to arrange flowers for a same-sex wedding. 70-year-old Baronel Stutzman has been ordered to pay a $1,000 fine, plus penalties and fees that could threaten her home and business. But now over 4,500 donations amounting to nearly $170,000 have poured in for Stutzman on a crowdfunding website. The site was set up in February, just after a Washington state judge ruled that Stutzman had broken discrimination laws. Speaking ahead of the judgment last year, Stutzman and her lawyer explained why she took a stand. When it came to marriage, that was the line. Because as she'll tell you, marriage represents the relationship of Christ and His Church. It's a sacred covenant. Marriage is a sacred, very sacred thing. You want flowers for your anniversary, or your birthday, or whatever, that's fine. But I just cannot do a same-sex marriage. Stutzman turned down a settlement offer that could have saved her home and business because it would have required her to make arrangements for same-sex ceremonies in the future. And finally, the parents of a 22-year-old who has locked-in syndrome have said they are thankful their son is alive after they rejected doctor's calls to turn off his life support machine. Declan McMullen from Northern Ireland had a cardiac arrest three years ago and was resuscitated five times before staying in intensive care for six weeks. Medics urged his parents to let their son die, but they refused, and a couple of days later he woke up. Declan has severe brain damage, leaving him unable to speak, move or see, and has to be fed artificially. But he is able to hear and to communicate through blinking. His mother Brenda told the Belfast Telegraph she can hear Declan's voice through his eyes. He is just astonishing and he'll do anything for a laugh. For the moment, we are just thankful that we still have him with us. A video of Declan's brother Mark singing him a song from the musical Les Miserables has been viewed hundreds of thousands of times on YouTube.
Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and information on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>